everyone. Sue here from Sue's Dog Bob Life Garden uh, today and the sun is just starting to break through. It's still a bit chilly. Uh, I think there was a little bit of a frost last night um, when I got up really early this morning to go and check on the chickens. Um, yeah, there was quite a lot of frost. So what I did was <coughs> fed them, let them out of the ark because we've got a problem with a a, a little weasel or something trying to keep getting in and killing them but um, at the moment where we've put them up on the table and the arc system I'll show you later in another video to keep our chickens safe so they're all together in the one house whereas normally they're in the stable and some of them go up on the bar some of them go in the actual um, coop um, but one of them you know for a couple of weeks we've had some losses you know just a couple of losses but you know it's a lot of losses when you haven't got hundreds of chickens and um, you want to keep them all basically because we brought them all up from well from eggs really <laughs> you know we still got the original chickens that actually laid the eggs that all these babies come from this year um, so we don't want to lose any more so uh, yeah so we seem to have sorted out the problem touchwood hopefully anyway so I just wanted to show you my garden today and what I was, what the area I've now started on and what I've done um, yesterday. So I just want to show you what I did yesterday, okay? So I'm going to do that now. I'll just turn the camera around so you can see. And then I'll show you a progression of what I'm going to do today. All right? Again, so I've just turned the camera around so I can show you the progression of the garden, what I did yesterday. Um, so I've still got to cut these these um, cotoneasta down here and I did move a lot of rubbish down to the bonfire yesterday which was really hard work it really knackered myself and then I thought oh no I need to stop doing that and go and do something else so that's what I do I just split my jobs up so I don't spend all my time doing one thing I try and do different things so what I did yesterday was I've cleared all this path here so we had all sorts of um, dead plants growing in nooks and crannies here. I still haven't done that bit there, but that sort of gives you an idea of what it was looking like with the dead bits coming out of the... Um, oh, there's still a couple of dead sticks there. I need to pull them out. But I love the ferns. I absolutely love them. And in this path, believe it or not, I have millions of um, tiny strawberries. Um, like alpine strawberries and they grow all in this path so I had to pull out some of the runners yesterday because that last year this was absolutely covered with strawberries but other weeds as well so what I've did is just cleared it a bit but all these tiny little strawberry plants they grow along these edges here as well as all the ferns we never planted any of these ferns these are natural these just grow here all the time and grow in this wall here I've not planted none of this stuff this uh and this moss I love this moss look at this moss isn't that pretty so it's like a spongy carpet it's really pretty I love that and this fern here looks like some kind of thing out of a horror movie but this this has got really big lovely leaves like that um, so I leave that and that will all grow back. This will all grow back. So there's loads of different kinds of ferns here and I love them. And I've cleared all this bit here. There's ferns down there as well. And as you can see, you can see what it looked like. This is what it looks like before I've done it. And there's some um, brambles in here which I'll have to get rid of. These seed pods have now finished and the birds have been eating all of these. So these have been feeding the birds all uh, winter time. But now new things are starting to grow. And we do feed the birds as well. So that they have a lot of food. And we had bullfinches feeding off some seed heads around the other side of the garden. So I'm going to be clearing this side today. So I'm going to do this bit here. So I'm going to cut this down. This is a Rose of Sharon. I don't know what the technical name in it of it is but I absolutely love this plant it's got a really nice yellow flower later on in the year as you can see it's starting to grow already but I need to cut it back a bit so I'm going to have to cut that back a bit uh, over there's a couple of things that need cutting down 
Um, there's more brambles in here. These sticks here that need cutting back. There's a lot of flowers in here. Um, and look at this. This all needs cutting back. This has gone a bit nuts. I think this is ladies' mental. I think that's what it's called. Um, you can tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not very good up on the plants. I always forget what they're called. I'm not very good on it. But I, I do know them, what they are. I just can't remember their names. Anyway, so we've got ferns here. There's ferns in here. Uh, there's a rose here. Oh, God. It's out here, actually. Oh, it's, yeah, that's a rose. Yep. I need to cut that back. But I haven't actually ever seen any flowers on it, to tell you the truth. I might have to give the ground a bit of food this year. Some um, bit of ground... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do what I'm doing over there and giving it a mulch. That's what I'm going to do this year. These little albrecia, I think these are albrecia, they're actually coming out. Look, I just noticed that. They've got some flowers on there. I need to cut back this cotoneaster here. And I need to cut all along there and take that ivy off of the house again because we haven't finished painting our house. We need to paint it this year. We had new windows put in last year. Um... I just noticed there's an end come off of that window there. God's sake. So anyway, so we've got all these new windows and the and the house needs painting. So I better cut off the ivy. Because this is what happens when you leave it. It just goes mad. And then I've got to do all that garden down there. And then go along there. So onto the river bit. So I'm going to do all of that. So I still have tons and tons of clearing work to do. And then all over here I've got to do, there's a lot of work here, this side as well. But as I said in previous videos, I just do small amounts at a time. I don't go mad. I don't look at it and go, oh my God, I've got so much to do. I just do a tiny bit of time. And then if something happens and I have to stop, then so be it. There's loads more rows of Sharon here. Loads more here. So I'm going to be cutting all this back so that you'll be able to see all the walls because there's loads of beautiful slate walls, like a tiered system here, like a free level tier system here, but you can't see it. You can see the top tier. And this year we're going to have a patio, get the patio done up there. And we want to have a nice place to sit and that kind of thing. So we want to try and get that done this year. So I need to find a builder to do that. And um, yeah, so we've got some daffodils in here. I just noticed, look. So, look, there's some daffodils there. So, they'll probably get a bit damaged as I'm clearing. So, I'll probably just cut those and take them indoors. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. So, we've got some bits that I cut here the other day that are just hanging off here. I'll just throw them on there. Yeah, I think I cut that one. I cut that plant there the other day because it was... But this side, I've done it all. So this is what this is going to be looking like. And I need to hurry up now because things are starting to grow back. And we need to um, get it all cleared uh, before things really start growing back. And then it'll be twice as hard because um, this will all grow again. And it'll be it's already a tangled mess because I didn't do this bit last year. I left it. And that's just one year of me not cutting it back. So I usually cut this back every single year and try and get out the brambles. This year, um, I'll try and get them out again, but it is just determination just to keep this down. But this is two years of me. Well, I didn't do it last year because it was a weird year last year with the lockdowns coming and we spent a lot more time in, indoors and building the polytunnel actually. That took up a lot of our time last year. So all my waking moments were outside helping Simon build the polytunnel, preparing the ground, all the ground over there. We've done a lot of work on that. But this year I want to concentrate on actually making the garden look pretty and having flowers and that kind of thing. Oh, some feathers there. So it's got killed. Normal <laughs> around here. Things are always getting killed by rodents and stuff. We've got lots of pheasants loads of them anyway so i just wanted to show you that for now and i'll show you the progress of what i've done so today we're working on this okay and i'll show you what it looks like once i've done it so bye for now
bye and i just wanted to show you what i've been doing today in the garden around the other side near the patio doors so there's anu he loves nibbling any old thing so today oh i done this the other day these two and today i completed doing the rest of these cotoneasters i haven't cleared up yet i'll clear up tomorrow because there's a lot to clear up now so i've done this one and that one and look at all this lovely moss isn't that beautiful so i've trimmed up the ones that were in here as well and i've just left all the rubbish everywhere because i'm just too knackered now to put it all away so i cleared up this bed here it's got lovely soil in here I'm going to um, put some loads of wildflower seeds in here and I've cleared up all of this bed and tidied up this bush here look here here's all the cotoneaster tons of it and down there is all what I pulled out of this bed here so that shows you how much stuff is in this garden that needs clearing so I've cleared all the front of here as well just let me go across here so I can uh, show you, I just cleared the stairs here because the, half the garden was over the stairs and I just put these couple of bits of slate here. I might put another bit there and another bit there just so it looks even. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. And over here I've done all along the front here. So I'll show you from afar, it's better. So I've done all this bit tidied all the front bit here this is all the stuff I've got out of this bed look at that so tomorrow I'm not doing that side yet I'm going over there so tomorrow I'm going to start on that side and finish that bit by the end of the week so tomorrow's Thursday so I've got two days to do that side um, that bit there won't take long but the bit along there loads of brambles in there and tomorrow I've got to clear up first so clearing first and then and then start on that again so I just wanted to show you that and who's found a label now made out of hard plastic you can't eat that <laughs> anyway so I just wanted to show you that um, so looking looking good now so I'm liking it so progress is good so need to get this all finished before april so that's the aim to get it all finished before april and then after i've done all that i'm going to, over there by that hedge is a path along the edge of it so i'm going to clear that path and i think there's a, a a path along that bed there as well so i'm going to clear that because that that would be better for the um for keeping it neat and tidy so i'm going to have a look there so see if we can uncover that so I just wanted to show you the progress of the garden see I've still got all this mess but we've got some nice daffodils growing there so that's good I'll keep them there but look at all that I've got all that to do yet but I've done all that today there you go all that in so oh, Enki wants to come out so all that bit today I've done that bit the other day the end but today I've done all of this end and this is how much rubbish I got. So, Anu just is really nosy and loves being around me all the time. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon with another update of my garden. Bye for now. Bye. Hello again. I just spotted these two baby lambs. They must have been born somewhere else and they've put them in this field now. They're the first lambs that I've heard this year. So I just wanted to show you that because I just heard them and they were all around them, all the mothers, they were all looking at them. But I just wanted to show you, so they're my, the first ones that I've seen this year here. I'm sure they, they must have been born in a shed or something and they've put them over here. But look at that. Oh, so spring is well and truly here now. Once you start seeing the baby lambs, you know that spring is here. Oh, how wonderful. I just wanted to show you that. Okay, bye.